um, regarding uh, Yakuza news. There's another little bit of news that I, I kind of want to discuss, but to be honest, there's not enough... I feel like there's not enough information to, to really kind of get into it. But I figure it's worth just talking a little bit for now. Uh, and it'll be a, a shorter video because, like I said, there's just not too much information about it. But let me bring up the article. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's see. Okay, so this is from earlier in the year. I think it was uh, in May of, of this year. And it comes from, yeah... Uh, this this the article that I'm taking it from and again, I'll just make a video. Uh, sorry. I'll, I'll put it in the Information uh, Below the link uh, this one comes from PC invasion.com Kurt Perry and again, it's from May Sega wants to create a super game in the next five years and it looks to be a huge project so so um, uh, around that time, Sega released their financial report for 2020. Again, this comes from 2021, but they were putting out their financial report for the previous year. Mm -hmm. And in the financial report, they obviously discuss, uh, mm -hmm. you know, how much money they've been making, blah, 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 mm -hmm. the games that have been making a lot of money, but also the future, future plans for Sega. And one of them, and there's even a diagram here, it's called Creation of Super Game. <laughs> and it's a multi-stage process which will culminate in 2026, which is what they project to be the release of Super Game. <laughs> Creation of Super Game. Um, and really, there isn't much information regarding this this so-called Super Game that they intend to make, other than they expect to make a global lifetime sales of of a hundred billion yen <laughs> and and again there's there's um a multi-stage process to this if if uh if i'm looking at this diagram here it says uh 2022 to 2023 development of new fps title at a european studio and then the next point is utilization of IP assets, and then create create aimed for three to five years from now. Creation aimed from three to five years from now. So uh, yeah, we don't really know any more than that. Um, it 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 to me it doesn't necessarily suggest that it's going to be FPS only that. A part of this process for the super game <laughs> involves the creation of a FPS title from from a European studio. Now Sega does own a couple of uh, European developer development studios. Um, the people that make Total War, I believe Sega own. Um, but to my knowledge, they don't make first-person shooters, and also Relic. Uh, and Relic have made other games other than strategy games, so they could be uh, one of the studios that they're thinking of. I'm actually not sure if Relic is, is European, but uh, I was just thinking about this because, uh, yeah, it, it has been uh, quite a while since we heard about this alleged super game. Um, and I don't really expect that we hear anything about it for a very long time, but I was thinking about it recently in relation to uh, the news of Nagoshi leaving. Because it kind of made me think, well, what happens to this alleged super game now um, if, if indeed Nagoshi is leaving? Because um, one would suspect that Nagoshi would be involved in, in, in said super game. Uh, again, this is just speculation, just because he's kind of like the f kind of like the the most prominent developer at Sega at the moment, who's making mm, really appealing mass market games. And again, that's kind of what the intent of the Super Game is is supposed to be, like some kind of big mass market game. Uh, but now that he's leaving, uh, allegedly. Uh, where does that leave this this uh, supposed super game? I don't know. 
again, it's it's really just speculation. So uh, that's why um, this is just kind of going to be a short little commentary on it because there really isn't much to go on. And if I could if I could uh, further speculate because uh, that's uh, it's fun to do and um, <laughs> um, you know we don't really have any actual real information. <laughs> um, there was a in around the time of of uh, of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, Nagoshi was actually very uh, uh, very positive about that game. Um, he he apparently liked it a whole lot, and he said in a quote, uh, and I'm paraphrasing here because I don't have the actual quote on me. He said like, "I lost, we lost," you know, uh, regarding like like it should have been like a Japanese company, a Japanese studio developer to to have made a game like that ghost of tsushima so he felt like it was it was his loss that that he didn't make one which is ironic because he has made a game a samurai game right um the yakuza kenzen games or if you want to call it uh like rgg ryu ga gotoko uh kenzen Kenzen and the other one, I forget the name of the other one, but they're two samurai games that appeared on the PS3 and 4. Um, but uh, he really enjoyed that game, and he actually said the thing that he liked about it was, like, uh, something along the lines of, and I'm paraphrasing here, that the, that the, the, the main uh, protagonist of the game wasn't like a typically handsome uh, Japanese character in the in the sense of a more uh, a more pretty a more beautiful man I guess <laughs> um, you know and and of course you can see it in, in Yakuza uh, a 7 that that Nagoshi and the writers and the creators of that game of this game were kind of uh, focused on making a game regarding adults and, and, and a real like manly masculine man kind of uh, in a character like Ichiban you know a guy who's buff and you know a little rough around the edges but certainly not would never be um, confused with like a being like a pretty a pretty man right <laughs> and he said something to that effect about about the main character in Ghost of Tsushima as well that you know he he's like a, a He's a man's man kind of guy, and and he just really admired that about about uh, Ghost of Tsushima. So it kind of got me thinking, like maybe, maybe just maybe, uh, he was thinking about making a game like that, and perhaps that was going to be the super game. But again, that's all speculation, and in fact, I don't think the timing really works out in terms of like. The planning of this alleged super game and then the release of Ghost of Tsushima, I, I don't think the timing really works out that, that they would overlap. And again, um, this game is, is allegedly supposed to be a giant mass market game that's going to be raking in a ton of cash and, and appealing to like a broad audience. And I don't, as successful as, as Ghost of Tsushima was, I think that, that uh, Sega is actually aiming like for something even beyond that in terms of success uh, which is pretty crazy to think about but they're thinking about something more along the lines of like a overwatch level of success or a Fortnite levels of success that's what it sounds like to me but again uh, and I really need to hammer this home <laughs> uh, it's really just speculation on my part and I really don't know what they're gonna do but it's just something that I was thinking about uh, regarding this super game dun, 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 and in relation to uh, Negoshi leaving. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, about this super game and I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching.